Hi, I'm Marty Wilson, and as someone who speaks about overcoming our fear of change at conferences all over the world, I often get asked, when just about the only constant thing in business these days is the accelerating pace of change, how can I help my people get over their natural fear of uncertainty and help them embrace the fact that doing what we've always done is actually going backwards? I have an awesome keynote and workshop that addresses this exact question. Because I know, in times of massive change, you have your hands totally full working out how to implement all your new systems and processes, and you don't have the time to repeatedly go back again and again to help your people buy in and emotionally commit to the changes that you know are necessary. My programs are deliberately designed so that you can let me convince your team about the why and let you get back to teaching them the what and the how. My approach is different to any other change speaker out there for two huge reasons. Firstly, because I deal with change from a deeply human perspective, where other speakers describe implementation workflow, process models and personal transition frameworks, I take the whole process back to the foundations and work with your team as the thinking, feeling human beings they are. People with hearts and minds, doubts and fears. I've learned from experience and extensive research that there is absolutely no point investing in new systems or new software if you can't convince the real flesh and blood human beings to overcome their fear and let go of the old systems and the old software. The other way I'm different to other change speakers is I'm a former Australian Comic of the Year who worked as a full-time stand-up on the brutal UK comedy circuit for seven years. So I use massive slabs of humour and I guarantee I can actually hold your room's attention for long enough to teach them something. Put me on on the afternoon on day three on your conference, I don't care, I've got the energy to carry it off. And it's been scientifically proven time and time again The great big doses of humour are perfect for short-circuiting our fear responses and opening us up to learning new things. Humour is the sugar that helps the medicine go down. The foundation for my system is over a thousand interviews I've done while writing the 11 books and counting in my best-selling What I Wish I Knew series. These books ask successful and inspirational people to answer the question, if you could go back and give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? From celebrity chef and entrepreneur Maggie Beer to rugby league coaching legend Wayne Bennett. From stand-up comic Arn Doe to Telstra Businesswoman of the Year, founder of Red Balloon Naomi Simpson. Rugby World Cup winning captain John Eales, TV personalities Melissa Doyle and Katrina Roundtree. AFL legend Mark Rusciuto, comic and author Wendy Harmer. I've spoken with incredibly successful business people, sportsmen and women, spiritual leaders and everyday heroes. After interviewing so many amazing people and asking them for their tips on living an extraordinary life, I realised that pretty much all the great advice they were giving me was aimed at how we handle those crucial moments of change in our life. They all told me it's how we move through those often scary times when everything's up in the air that decide our fate in the long term. My approach is working in big corporations and for individuals too. For example, I recently did a session for Westpac, one of the big four banks down here in Australia, who got me in because they're introducing a program that will impact pretty much every single employee and the way they serve as customers. And Greg Dalton, the head of AFS program delivery, basically the man whose responsibility it is to roll this program out across the whole bank, said, in today's fast paced world where the only constant is change, Every organisation needs some time with Marty Wilson. He combines meaningful insights with a delivery style that challenges your thinking and also has the room in stitches, a rare gift. But you know, it's actually not the giant victories that give me the most satisfaction. I got an email from a lady who saw me speak at an event in the UK about a year ago. She wrote, I always wanted to work at one of the historic royal palaces, but I was too scared to try. After listening to you, I applied and got a job showing people around Hampton Court Palace. The reason I'm writing to you today is that I just successfully booked to have my wedding in the same chapel that Henry VIII was married. Being someone who's embraced a lot of change himself, I'm actually a registered pharmacist turned award-winning copywriter, turned stand-up comic, turned best-selling author and speaker. I love opening people's eyes to the fact that they can embrace change without listening to that nagging little voice of doubt in their minds. They can move through their fears and become something truly extraordinary. I'm incredibly passionate about my work, so I take the responsibility and the privilege of teaching your people about overcoming their fear of change very seriously. 
and as someone who's spoken to over 385,000 people over the last 15 years, I also have the experience and the stagecraft to help you make your conference or event truly extraordinary too. I look forward to speaking with you and for you soon.